Today's focus is on the growth parameter leaf area index. LIA is an indicator of the amount of leaf surface, so how densely a crop grows or how much foliage there is on plants. The higher the LIA, the more ground area is covered by the plant, while a lower LIA means that less ground is covered by the plant. Its unit of measure is square meter single-sided leaf area per square meter soil area. The leaf surface is the primary border of energy and mass exchange. Important processes such as canopy interception, evapotranspiration, and gross photosynthesis are directly proportional to LIA. You can consider the leaf surface as biological solar panels that produce energy via photosynthesis. The larger the leaf area, the greater the energy production for growth. The levels of LIA will also vary with the canopy architecture, which depends on the cultivars, geography, and field culture practices. There are differences between types of crops and fruits. More is known about the optimum LIA for cereals than fruits. For example, LIA for apples can be between 1.5 and 5. Oranges is high, between 9 to 11. Peaches can be 7 to 10 and mangoes can lie between 1.2 and 4.5. The date of the NDVI map data on Fruit Look is the actual date of the satellite recording. Hence, this parameter layer provides a direct snapshot of your block's condition at that specific date. External factors that can influence LIA can include the type of trellis and or training system, pruning and thinning, row distance, cover crops, and weeds. Because LIA has to do with light interception, it can have an influence on color development or sunburn. If the canopy is too dense, meaning that it has a high LIA value, less light will be available for color development. Too sparse a canopy can mean too much direct exposure would lead to sunburn. Therefore, LIA can advise your pruning intensity, especially summer pruning. And historical data can help you determine the optimal LIA value for your production unit. When you use the spatial overview on FruitLook, the LIA of a single management block should ideally have a homogeneous look throughout the season. This is an example on 24 February showing high variation, which is not ideal. High variation in a block might indicate underlying variations in soil conditions, Part of your block is not responding well to management, and in-season variation caused by diseases or pests. You can use the Fruit Look Temporal Profile to easily see if your block shows continuous development throughout the growth season. If a strong decline is visible and no changes have been made in your block management, for example, no extensive pruning, this can be cause for concern. However, if your data shows a sudden drop, you should always first consult the map for that specific date, as it could also be due to clouds, as in this example. Please do contact us if you have any questions on LIA or any other aspect of Fruit Look.